Yo, what's going on guys? Gonna be playing some Twisted Fate Jungle here with the new items. I think the best way to play it is a little bit on hit early on. That way you can clear through your camps. Nash Rush is really, really good for this. Or if you want to get tanky quick, Rod of Aegis is also a good option. I'm thinking of the Nash Rush though. I want to have lots of attack speed off of my E. We'll go ahead and start with blue card or E. Oh, it's tough. We'll go ahead and start with our W. We'll stun him out to keep our health nice and high. We have Hell Blade, Cheap Shot, Eyeball Relentless, Absolute Gathering with Attack Speed, AP, and Armor. Your blue card technically does do the most damage. However, since we're trying to conserve our health and have good ganks, it is important to uh, use our stun card and whatnot. Zyra's making me nervous. She's overleashing a bit. So yeah, we'll just keep stunning them out. Hell Blade still hasn't been nerfed for ranged champions, and the Keystone as a whole hasn't really ever been nerfed. To where it's becoming a more and more attractive option particularly for ranged characters and that's why we have it certainly you could go for uh, an electrocute though and still get some pretty good results the way your card shuffles you never know what card it's going to be on when you first draw it so let's say it's one second per card on rotation it might you might be 0.9 seconds deep on a yellow card and try to click it and then you're too slow so that's kind of why you'll see twisted fates over shuffle they're just playing it safe if you are just looking for raw damage you should be throwing the blue card instead it has the most damage and we can look to gank i think four uh four camp clear is about right nice we'll take red buff we'll end up smiting and we'll go top side we don't want to over clear early on i don't think there's any need for it they have a Zed jungle. I hate Zed. Champion's OP. Stun him out. Kite it out. Why is he not attacking me? Do you see that? Did they lower red buff's auto attack range? Because he's getting very close before he attacks. It might just be a bug. Okay, it is a bug. Because there he had really long auto attack range. That was bizarre. So we finished around 312 with leash. A four camp clear. I'm going to flash stun it. Get the Q auto. Honestly, Urgot, I don't know if he could have played it any slower than he did, did there. Mm. Why is this Zed doing this? You're dead, buddy. <laughs> Holy crap. We got him. Urgot reacted so slow. Everyone's reacting like five seconds late. What is happening? My goodness. I need to base. And missing too much health, that's probably going to sprint out to the scuttle. Let's go for Reaper Bow Boots. After we have Nash, we can go for pretty much anything that gives ability power. Whether it's movement speed, ability haste, or penetration, it will be good on Twisted Fate. He's not picky with the types of items he needs. As long as it gives AP, it's going to be a good option on him. They don't have... Well, they do have some self-healing, some healing in general through the Gwen to where... Morello would be good at only 2200 gold, 90 AP. It's kind of nuts how strong that is. We'll run bot side to gank. We've spent gold. <clears throat> We're pretty strong for this. I have red buff still. They're already gone. I can't get there in time. My teammates didn't stall their backs. That sucks. I might be able to kill Gwen though. My Hello Blades run her down. She doesn't have boots. Auto into Q. Alright, not bad. Morgana wants to stay. We'll help her push real quick. Now she gets back. She's out of health and mana. She can't really get away with staying. Wait, you got Rift Herald? What the hell? I thought it was supposed to be Rift Void Bugs. Oh, it is. That was weird. That's annoying. He's going to get away with that. <sighs> Those don't take damage from AoE attacks, apparently. Auto Q. Twisted Fate Jungle is really not that bad. It's a decent enough. This guy getting the Scuttle Crabs is slowing down my ganks a lot. Down goes Cho, guys. That's probably on Gromp. He's 
clearing so fast. Ridiculous. He needs to finish pushing his wave. This guy is high. He has no idea that he just... That Cho'Gath's going to catch a lot of this. Me pushing it, he might miss cannon in a couple of minions now. Whew. He's in a hurry to get that BF sword. We can head over top side here. You don't need mana on junglers in general. Your jungle item gives you so much. A little gank since this guy's nearby. Patience is key. Hopefully Urgot doesn't scare him away. Uh, he's just missing? Is this a warded or something? Came to lane, went missing immediately. <laughs> what the heck? That doesn't make any sense. Come up behind this chick. Nice. Auto Q auto. Beautiful. I take some damage, not the end of the world. He sees that's bot side. He probably doesn't even know where I'm at right now because he's focusing on that bot lane play. I could probably get away with farming my jungle because of that. We'll red card it. Anything that's a multi-target camp, you really should red card while the small ones are still alive. Small monsters do lots of damage. The red slow also lets you cut it out pretty easy, just like having the stun. Now that he's by himself, we'll blue card it. Just making sure Zed's not here. Twitch might get me killed. He's dragging them into my jungle area. I'm scared to kite it out now. They might be on dragon. She almost got that. Holy crap. That was really, really close. Relentless plants, man. We hit level 6, 8 minute mark. That's actually pretty standard for jungle as a whole. Not late at all. Echo support, my goodness. I do have our we'll pop potion. I would like one of my teammates to take their burst first since I'm, I am missing some health. All right, here we go. We'll put it on way. Nice. Wow, you really got away from us there. All right, not bad. Not bad at all. I'll go take this guy's a raptors. My top side's vulnerable. He's probably headed over there right now. If he's not going for the ergot. My CS is kind of low. Only 41 CS right now. Back and get my Nash soon. Oh, he got the rift bugs. That's what he was doing. I don't need to flash for it. Morgana got a good snare. Wait, please tell me she doesn't get away. Morg has boots. Okay. It's going to stay with Morg having boots. She should not live there. Going to run away from this guy. That's kind of funny, actually. Get the stun card. Q auto auto. He's so dead here. Nice flash, buddy. Buster Brown, why don't you sit down? <laughs> why don't you get out of town? It's hilarious. In my first grade class, Brandon Smith. Oh, so good, dude. He just started shout. We were doing the days of the week, and he, he was going hard. You know, every one of them, he was yelling it louder than the whole class combined. The teacher was telling him he needed to stop, and he told her to get out of town. It was amazing. Even as a child, I knew it was hilarious. Pop the Q. Oh, seriously? Boy! All right, he's out of there. Zed's here. Okay, I need to get my dash. 
And no, we're not going full on hit. That's silly. Twisted Fate only has 525 auto range, much lower than standard 80 carry auto range of 550. And there's plenty of 80 carries who have even more range past that. Whether you're talking about Varus 575, Ash 600, Caitlyn 650, Tristana with her scaling auto attack range on her passive, getting all the way up to past 650. And uh, Jinx, I think Jinx gets damn near close to 700 with her rockets. That's why on hit TF or ADTF is due to feces, even though you would think it'd be strong because of the stun card. It's just not. He's an AP machine. Always was, always will be. I can R to mid or top right now. The R range is ridiculous. Skadoosh. Ah, uh, how did my key miss both of them? What the heck? <laughs> Got scammed. Zed's here. Goodbye, Gwen. Outganked Zed once again. <laughs> you can't keep up with the tempo. He's not. Wait, he is a full item? I'm surprised this guy's a full item. What the heck? How? He's two kills. 90 CS, that's what's going on. Just farming non-stop. <sighs> Alright, yeah, the clears are getting ding, ding solid, I'd say. Very pleasing to me. We can pull the camps out with Q. I should be doing that sooner. Bam. Auto Q auto. Nice. Alright, here we go. This is the one. Let me kite him out. Oh, this is bad. We got a stun card at least. That sucks though. Twitch wasn't able to kill either one of them there. Bro, Zed focused me, Echo R'd me. My eight kill Twitch couldn't kill anybody. My goodness. He must have been already been low on health, right? It's the only way. The Andres would be fine. Rod of Aegis would be fine. I'd like to have some health. Zyra's randomly roaming. It's so bad. You're already winning lane. Twitch isn't the type of AD carry who can 1v2 either at this stage of the game. Oh, nice. He took my blue. He doesn't have R, so he can't really solo me. He's taking everything. All right, scumbag. The church is mine. They lose turret. He got some of my camps. Good for him. Auto Q auto. That Morph Snare is non non existent. Got it. Sheesh. Get off me, Gwen. Nasty hoe. <laughs> oh, that hit. Sheesh. Zed's coming over here. That's a gross that get out of here. That's gross. Such a gross character, dude. We need to reset and play heavy for drag. I knew he was gonna come over there. For some reason I thought his R would still be on cooldown. Fool. Yeah, look at this. This is so gross. Absolutely foul. Gwen, stop running. No clue what rooted me, but I got rooted. Zed may take my camps, but I will take the objectives. Objectives win the game, ultimately. 
having a gold advantage is all about allowing you to take the objective safely. And they quit! Cowards! Feckless rubes. All right, we'll go ahead and do a part two. I'll see you guys there. The enemy's FF last game was a really good one, too. They just decided they had enough of getting punished by Twisted Fate. Darius may not leash us. That sucks. I would like to just get red gank top, but he's in a hurry to get to lane. It is what it is. Laugh of a TF jungler. No one believes in you. That's the biggest downside to picking off meta junglers is your teams don't believe in you. And uh, they may not leash you. We'll soak the auto. Stun him when he's about to start his next one. And then we kite back over again. TF's level 1 clear is pretty crap. It's super, super slow compared to his level 2 clear. We'll go ahead and get a point in this now. That way we get the faster attack speed. We also get the on-hit damage, which is kind of spicy. It's essentially having two autos instead of one. In terms of the damage output. I could still go top here. I should have red-carded that. I was pointless to throw a yellow since he was almost dead. Red card of destiny. Let's go. Okay, let's move over to Raptors. We have high health. So that, that's the good news. Even though we uh, went leashless. One more red card. I'll probably be done with this camp. At least the small ones. We're scrapping out hard over there. On, pretty decent all in all. Slow but decent. Three. Got the stun. I got it. Kata has got the reaction speed of my grandma. No clue where Zach's at. Got her flash too, so she had that the whole time. Oh well, we'll move on to brew buff. Blue buff it is, we can heal off of it. Level three and all. Pull him out this way, probably soak one auto. Jeez Louise. I guess I'll soak two on the crossover, give myself more space. Alright, whatever. Let's go gank. I'll pop potion for this. Ezreal takes a turret shot. This is looking... This is looking good. Got the, him with the stun card. Put my red buff autos on this guy. Block him with my movement. Down he goes. Yeah, buddy! <laughs> Uh, they said they had a Twisted Fate jungle who AFK'd on them last time. That's pretty funny, dude. Stun card of destiny. Back to full health, man. We don't even have to really back here. You're behind the cast. We can make this work for sure. She put her all of her crap on me last time. Got it. Stun card into Q auto. I'm autoing her the whole time here. As long as Kata goes back in. That's a stun into Q. Come on, Kata. There we go, buddy. I would like her to just push. Uh, I should reset now. As much as I would love to stay and keep farming. I could back and get a lot done. It's going to take him two autos there because his... Bloodlust ran out. Wow, it doesn't even have Nash as a favorited item on TF. My goodness. Let's go this. Let's go this. Let's go this. This. Could wait for 20 more gold. That sucks. So be it. Cast no flash. When is that at? Let me find it. I'll say mid, nine minute. I can come back there. Go bot lane. Moving really quick. We're on 384 out of combat movement speed right now. Most champions tier 2 boots are moving 380. So I'm faster than a tier 2 boot champion at the moment with only tier 1s on a champion who has 330 base movement speed. I would like to take this real quick. It's looking like I can't though. This is getting out of hand. Got with the stun. 
Oh no, I'm not even gonna get the assist on that guy. Get this push with a Q and a red card. I'll let those go. We'll run over mid real quick. She's still level five. She's gonna hit six soon, so I wanna put some heat on her. Let her feel my power. She went missing. Oh. Got it. Stun the Q. Triple autos. Nice, nice, nice. Easy, dude. Perfect timing. She hadn't quite hit six. And she doesn't have boots because she's cast. Plus, we know she had no flash still. They may not take dragon if I get this. She's six now. It's going to make things harder. Make things a lot harder. You know, the Q auto. He doesn't even have boots. What's this guy doing? Yeah, get out of here, dude. You get a stun card, Q auto, turn away from it. Here's the Zack. Down he goes. The stun onto this guy, drop the Q. Nice. Alright, cat a pop off. That's a lame way for me to die. Nice. I'll take it. <laughs> Death by cards right now. Let's. Oh, I can't actually buy what I'm trying to buy. I feel like I should stay. I'm extremely low. If I kite it out just right, I can get my health up before it kills me. Nice. Can probably stay on the map now, to be honest. As long as my jungle friend's attacking them, I get some pretty big healing. Should have thrown a red card there, Vip. There it is. Nice. Yeah, I say we take red buff, gank mid. Cat will be there by the time I finish the red buff. <laughs> Cass has got to be so pissed, dude. She's gotten ganked so many times. It's hard for us to cut. Hard for her to cut us out too, because I can reach her with my attacks. Mm, dang it. No. <laughs> You're going to stop resetting health, buddy? On the side of your patience range. All right. It is what it is. Mm, she's moving fast. <sighs> that is some speed right there. She's moving so fudging fast, no boots. When she lands that Q, she gets a huge speed up. There we go, buddy. There's a stun card and a Q auto. I'm gonna flash away from that brand stun. Red card of destiny. I didn't care what card it was as long as I got an empowered card on his forehead. Let's go ahead and take blue buff. We'll get our health back. We can press for dragon at that point. We'll still go for Nash, probably in a rod of Aegis, Cosmic. As long as something gives us AP, movement speed, and or ability haste, it's gonna be a good item on us. Doing a lot more damage with red buff now. I still epic failed. He's still resetting. Holy crap. I hate how they reset even though I'm, I'm back inside the patient circle. You should turn around and fight me. You feckless rube. Don't turn your back to me. I should do triple damage when he turns his back. So those should all be critical hits. Boom. What was that flash? Does she think my stun card is a skill shot? <laughs> what the heck? I've never seen anyone try to flash a TF stun card. What the hell? Mm, that's bad. Took a turret shot and got poisoned. It's about time for me to reset. Here's the Zai. Red card. Auto Q auto. Oof. 
Oh, did Darius just get sold by Nasus? That's not good. Very bad news. Oh, his cat is big. It's about time for us to take Dragon. Yeah, that's right. He's about to reset on me. Send him straight to Mexico. Could smite it. I kind of want to save smite for drag, though. Nice. Brand scarier than Cass is, in my opinion, especially since Cat is so fed. There's a stun card, baby. Got it. <laughs> All right. I don't have my R. Dragon should still be safe because we have Kata, but Fiddlesticks is getting himself killed. At least Ezreal lost a bunch of health for it. Oh, he got executed. He really messed up there. Barrel the teleport. <laughs> Probably didn't need to teleport, but whatever. Got him with the slow Q auto. I'm dead. Dang, brand damage. He's got malignants. I really needed my full item there to make that work. I should have checked for that. He's got malignants plus Zaxax, which is broken as hell. Max health damage plus flat damage just for damaging an enemy champion. He had his brand burn, ignite burn, Zaxax burn, and... Functionally a malignant burn as well. Got this, and then we go for this. We can delay tier two boots for a long, long time since we have Relentless Hunter. Tier two boots are by no means a necessity. That's a necessity for a jungler who has Relentless Hunter. Fills that role extremely well. Yeah, the clears actually get pretty dang solid. I right, got need to break this turret. Can't really get to this guy's the thing. Whoa, cat of fudge muffins. He's about to give up a thousand gold. My bot lane is missing, so I can't really gank bot. Jeez Louise, he's fast. Why is he so quick? Is it really just free boots doing that? I don't know. We're gonna have to play Draxol win con. I'll stun out Nasus in team fights. He went for Arcane Comet, which is tremendous for laning phase, but absolutely atrocious for uh, kind of late game. Lethal Tempo is 10 times better for that. The weird thing is, is he started with D Shield, but he played Arcane Comet, which doesn't make any sense. You'd go uh, Dorn Ring for that. Oh, this is bad. I'm probably dead here. Yep. Zach even flashed. It's so random. Two of them stacked up in bush. I need oracles. Kali goes in and surprisingly does, doesn't die. Solid. I'm shocked she didn't die there. She's in the thick of it. I have to go for Merc Treads this game. They're all AP. Even the Nasus E. Oh, he's going AP Nasus. That's dog. The way you, you, AP Nasus is good, but only with the right build. That's not the build. You go Rod of Aegis. Rod of Aegis, Aegis Rush is disgusting because it's only 2,600 gold. So you're going to hit it way before your opponent gets their first item. Plus, it gives great stats. You, I would never go Storm Surge Rush ever on Nasus. You don't have any sustain. Or if you're doing an all in fight to the death, it's just straight up the wrong item. <laughs> oh, 
What's with these people and watching me? <laughs> I'm on wards. There's too many wards in this game. There's a fight going on over there. Can I get there? Not really. My cat is not even over there. Just kite this back. There you go, blue card destiny, baby. Oh, this cast? Dang, she's scary. Put some damage on her forehead real quick. Alright, I actually connected there. Ooh, got it. Kind of wasted the stun card on him, though. This is bad. This is really bad. Oh, yeah. No, my card. Oh, I knew his E was about to be up. I was hoping Darius would kill him before he came out of stun, but Darius is out of mana. My card was in midair, so even though I died, I still took him with me. Dragged him to the underworld. Let's go, Merc Treads. Nope. Wait. Well, I don't know. Well, you know, nah. Well, maybe we just go for Banshees instead. I'm fine for Banshees or Merc Treads. The thing is, Ezreal's squishy. What the hell is he building? <laughs> Ezreal's squishy cast is squishy, kind of. Brand squishy. And even Nasus is building squishy. I have targets. Second dragon. It's not always worth even picking a card. Sometimes it's worth getting it out there. It's funny how little damage yellow card does. It's half the damage of blue card at this point. It's still worth it if you have multiple teammates helping you in team fights. But if you're just trying to one tap somebody, blue card's for sure better. Alrighty, I'll back up. Chill, Bran. I gotta get out of here. I'm in the I'm in no man's land right now. I don't really know where the Zack is either. My jungle item's almost finished. If I had one more camp to take, then if I took red buff, I'd give it to my whole team. It's almost worth going over to Wolves then doing this. That fear didn't do anything. It's just gonna push him away from me. It's still gonna reset aggro since it's pulled out of its patience range. One of us has to be inside of its patience range. If at least one of us isn't, it's gonna reset. Wait, where did this guy go? I thought he came up here. Guess not. I can almost kind of get over there. Emphasis on the almost. All right, I can I can get over there. Hey friends, we're going for you, Brandy scumbag. Got this done. That's ridiculous. I'm gonna flash it if I have to. Got him. Oh, ho, ho. let's go. Take it. I had my flash the whole time too. Where were you when I needed you the most, Kata? Off giving them a thousand gold off one death, I see. Is Ezreal here? Nope. I want to pull this a bit. 
So I went in the bush. Just in case Nasa stayed to stop me. <sighs> Come on. He could have been down there getting golden XP off minions. Instead he's over here doing this. Out the flash. It's gross. I'm moving really fast with Relentless Hunter or whatever. Cost me flash. As a team, we're not grouping up enough. They have so much pick potential with Zach. If anyone's out of position, they're in massive danger. No one's really showing up. I do have R here in a moment. I could get over there. Auto Q. Yeah, it's looking like the move. Well, they still have a lot of health. My full, my turbo fed cat have failed me, dude. She got all the gold. She's not doing anything with it. Oof, got a double hit there. Alright, chill, Bran. I think I hit someone with that card. This is probably awarded. Oh, I guess not. So Darius is randomly going in, I see. Who would have guessed that Darius can't run in 1v5 when they're all decent HP? I would have never guessed that personally. I'm trying to stop these guys from backing if I can. My teammates aren't too interested, I'll tell you that. We can certainly do it. I'm gonna take the plants if there are any. Oh, that's scary. Pull this out a bit. Hopefully they'll lose vision of it. You know, if someone actually helped me do this, I might actually be able to take it in time. Just a thought. Or not. This is annoying. Get off me, Ezreal! Hmm. All right, I couldn't kill Ezreal. Couldn't quite kill Brand. Man, if I could have just gotten all the gold this game, I think I could have done it. But Kata isn't able to do anything without the team supporting her more. The team has to get people a little bit lower than what they're getting because she's just kind of going in and getting CC'd and dying. Time for Robidon. 539 we have absolute gathering is the bright side Ezreal brand are both dark harvest which although should be scary because the scaling dark harvest just doesn't scale that well it's only five extra damage per stack which is practically nothing that means if you have 20 stacks it's 100 damage you know it's magic damage too it's not even true damage so you can mitigate that damage that five extra. <laughs> I needed the blue card at the end and I think I would have won. I think I threw a red card. The blue card's doing uh, double the yellow card's damage and close to double the red card's damage. Ah, that sucks. That's not really worth it for me at all. I was hoping they'd react slow or kind of move away, but... We got there pretty quick. I'm going Banshees. I need Magic Resist. Magic Resist and Ability Haste is what we need.
We got our turret, dang. Nasus is only 165 Q stacks, that's good. It's not that they scale, it's that they're just they're grouped. There we go. Nice! There we go. We're doing some damage. Electrocute went off there, I could see. Chunked. Chunked and dunked. Zach has a bunch of magic resist. I have to get a void staff. Nash is so stupid strong. 90 AP, 50% attack speed, 15 ability ace, and then they all hit damage on every auto. Huge, huge item. Is there a red buff up? Ah, come on. Don't mind if I do. Might as well push this out since I'm over here. No reason not to. I have Banshees as well, so I'm semi-protecting against people like Brand. Oh, Ezreal, you fool. Hey, Ezreal. Wow. He was still on his hex plate is what happened. He was moving really fast. Oh, he took my thing off with just that. Hmm. Weird. Yeah, he's moving really fast. He pressed R, got an extra 15% movement speed. So when he dashed away, he was still moving crazy quick from using his R across the map. That sucks. Me and Brand both got each other's flashes. Should be Baron. They're all spawning in. We can't really do anything else. Baron's the easy call. 300 gold piece plus bonus stats. Then we can take Dragon after, likely. Even after mitigation, blue card's still doing more damage than red or yellow post uh, pre mitigation. There we go. I'm heading straight over for drag. We're scaled. Lots of health. Nearly 3k HP. Nearly 700 AP. We're still missing a lot of gold spent. Nice. Alright, let's blue card it up, baby. We can't really end off that. They have the minions and turrets right now. Might as well take drag. It sets up the soul for us. Let's pull this back. Very nice. They might step up for this, we'll see. Krugs are up, there's really nothing else up on the map. So they either go for minions, bot top, or are they... Yeah, I don't know. They're back pretty far. Well, you know, Lich Bane wouldn't be bad. Lich Bane would be decent. There's too many people missing for me to want to press R. It's a big commitment. Long cooldown ability. You could go for Transcendence in this build. Get some more ability haste. The only downside to ability haste is Twisted Fate E doesn't have a cooldown, so you're kind of wasting it there a little bit. Oh, this guy's screwed. All right, here we go. He's gonna run away and eventually I'll catch up. Nice. Yeah, playing true AP Nasus, not really farming Q, not getting Rod of Aegis. There's no point. 
no point at all i did a video on in my opinion the most optimal optimized build you can run on him you guys should check that out oh i took that off with this stupid fireball nice 650 damage on ezreal nice Bran might kill Kata there. Oh, she has a little bit of magic resist. I, I guess she lives off the spectacle cow. It's decent enough. I think that's it. That should be game. He's not going to do it. He doesn't have the balls. Auto Q auto, down you go, buddy. That is a good game right there. We finally grouped as a team. Things all of a sudden get a lot easier. Is the fountain not on? Oh, it's on. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Seemed like it was off there because I was going pretty deep. End the game. Oh, help me. <laughs> GG's. Let's take it. Looking at damage dealt against enemy champions, we weren't the highest in the game, partly due to just the lack of proper team fights of us just being able to throw out big AoE cards. It was mostly people just scrambling around, avoiding team fights. For damage taken, we're up there, tied with everyone else, self mitigated, upper middle of the pack, and for runes, all in all high value. T Twisted Fate, pretty fun to play. He's unironically. A great jungler once you can get down his three camps his ganks are insane walk up guaranteed stun he doesn't have a skill shot realistically if you stun card somebody because then you, you land q for free it's stun into q you triple auto them down with hell blades and if your teammates back you up they should die his biggest weakness is going to be getting abused in his first couple of levels so you should consider doing a level one invade if your team has the better level one that'll help mitigate that a little bit putting the enemy jungler behind killing them on their first buff with your team or just doing an invade get get someone on your team ahead if you guys enjoyed this twisted fate video don't forget to like comment and subscribe my name is king sticks thank you for watching and i'll catch you guys next time